Vice President Kamala Harris arrived in El Paso, Texas on Friday for her long-awaited visit to the southern border with Mexico as part of the Biden administration's plan to steam the flow of immigration. Harris traveled with Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. So the work that we have to do is the work of addressing the cause, the root causes. Otherwise, we will continue to see the effect of what is happening at the border. It is going to require, as we have been doing, a comprehensive approach that acknowledges each piece of this, informed also by the recognition that the United States is a neighbor in the Western Hemisphere, and not only do we have a reason to concern ourselves with the root cause issues because of what we see at the border, but also because we are, we live in that neighborhood. Across the border from El Paso is Ciudad Juarez, here, the Honduran migrant Manuel Orlando Pinto Medina hopes to convey his message to Harris and Mallorcas. I would like them to know that many of us leave our countries out of fear, necessity, poverty, lack of security. It's not easy to abandon your home. El Paso Republican Party Representative Bobby Peña views the visit as a political move. The reason why the vice president is coming is simply because President Trump said he was coming. Peña is referring to an announcement from former U.S. President Donald Trump, who has plans to travel to the border on June 30th. Peña also highlighted Harris' controversial statements during her recent trip to Guatemala and Mexico. If Trump had never come, she might have never come. She always says, yes, I'll go. She's not interested, just like she's not going to Europe. She's not interested. Vice President Harris has reiterated that her priority is to focus on seeking solutions for the root causes of migration. For Fernando Garcia, director of the Border Network for Human Rights in El Paso, this visit comes at the right time. It was about time that she came to listen to our communities. We have thousands of children in a military base called Fort Bliss. Those children do not have to be incarcerated. They must be with their families. Hopefully, she will solve that. Harris visited the Border Patrol processing centers on Friday where migrants, including unaccompanied children, are held after entering the United States. Celia Mendoza, VOA News, El Paso, Texas.